Good evening here at Amelia Park Ice Arena. It is opening night for Westfield State University men's ice hockey and they open once again against the Western New England Golden Bears as we are ready to get the season underway. Hello everybody, my name is Joe Braverman. Joined alongside me is Liam McCarran and running the lens is Evan Bylan. Liam, this is gonna be a real exciting year for Westfield State. The one theme for these guys right there in the white and blue is all about redemption. They had a great year, but they had the upset loss to Salem State in the playoffs. Absolutely. Yeah, the like winner. We'll go to the Mascot Championship. Westfield wins the tip. Moody Bay's got possession, and we are underway. Westfield comes in 18 and 7. Conference record of 5 and 2. They own the tiebreaker over Worcester State, hence the number one seed. Meanwhile, Salem State. The defending Mascac champion, 6 and 20 overall, 4 and 8 in the conference as Marcus Collins starts it off with a little baseline jumper. Place him, and early on it looks like a running back by committee as the give on the end around to Gallagher cuts it again, gets past oh. midfield, and he's got some room. Gallagher has it down the field to the 20, to the 10. It's a foot race for the pylon. Touchdown! Cam Gallagher on a wide out sweep. And just like that, the Owl. And oh, and oh. another opportunity, but it looks like too far out in front. And Maservier, he wanted to play it. Oh, and a, a mistake by Maservier and a goal from John Dianello. Maservier was caught in the middle. He didn't know whether to pass the puck or give it up. Too many easy looks at the basket. There's gotta be some help defense there for him. Oh, me, second dunk of the day. Yeah, that's beautiful right there off the pick and roll. Me knew he had the step, so he just took the ball, gave it a one dribble. 2-2 two -two delivery, done. And that is a shot in the left field going back, and it is out of here. Two run, home run, Anthony Crowley, and it's a quick 2-0 lead for Westfield State. Now we're on the right side for Dufries. Dufries turning, gonna go for the shot, and it oh. is into the top right corner for Matty Dufries. Two to nothing, Westfield State as Dufries made it all happen herself, weaving in and out, and then fired it into the upper 90 to make it two nothing. What a Schlafer will take it. It is low, kept alive off the net, and Taylor just gets it over. What a play by Westfield to keep that rally alive. Big time spike, Taylor on the bump. Bellardo hits it over, no. Sestito, the set, Machelski is in. What a play on the spike, end to end, on her left, going to her right, beautiful spot. As you saw, Westfield was, sh was all shifted over on that strong side right, was not expecting the cross court kill. And it's a short corner kick here for Westfield. Now here's the setup, and the header is in for the goal! And the Owls strike first, it was, I believe it was Weaver. Who threw it on net? And they wanted to travel too. Didn't get it. Here goes McDonald. A little bit behind Nemeshawn. Here goes Rennes, right into the lane! And he throws it down, Justin Rennes! With no fear and reckless abandon, Justin Rennes with the throwdown. Fitchburg State, third and 10, low snap. Lancers rush four. Pelcher gonna take a he shot for the all. end zone, and it is caught! Touchdown, Westfield State! It's Kevin Faunen. 32-yard reception, and the Owls have tied it up and are a PAT away from taking the lead. Pelt and the finish. And now Mousset gonna go coast to coast. Look at her, just turn on the Jets and go coast to coast. And that's stolen by Aiken. There's a four point swing right there. Owls right back into it now, cut it to three. Loose ball now gathered by Rennick. Aiken all alone for three, you know it. Tie game at 45. As Westfield with a flurry. As they get back into this game, timeout WPI. And once again, we're back to square one, tied at 45. So Westfield's got to find a uh, creative and a unique way to, to be able to stop. Popper scores by the Rams. It was wheeling again. Wheeling just rips the slap shot from the slot. 
And the Rams take a two goal lead here as we were just seconds into the first, that, uh, third period. That was more than a rip. That was a shot from a cannon, essentially. Whelan just turned and fired. That was so fast. Whelan picks up his second of the night. What a tremendous, what a tremendous game, not only for Whelan, but just the Rams in general, as they have just come out to play. As the Here goes Green, working one-on-one -on -one with Bugler. <laughs> Look at him, look to the, you see the smile on his face? He's looking at the fans just like, watch this. Crossover, behind the back, uses the screen. Inside the arc oh. and one! Josh Green said, watch this. And the fans were just put on a show. Who set to Gray for the record? In and out. The crowd wants it to happen. Who set to Gray? Else. Gray will try it again. There it is. As if a thousand points wasn't enough. Most three pointers in a single game now belongs to Melissa Gray. This one by Murphy. Murphy again into the corner. McAlvey going for a shot, it's curving, it's curving, and it went in! Wow. Mary Kay McAlvey hooking the corner on an absolutely brilliant shot, and it's now four to nothing. Into Mousset. Mousset is gonna heave it from half court. Good! Oh! And she bikes it home! Chelsea Mousset! Somehow, someway from half court! What an unbelievable finish. And the crowd gets on their feet for that one. 64, 55, we head. For the third consecutive year, and that's in there for strike three. John Down with the fastball, strike three. Second. Down he goes on a pitch in the dirt. He's gonna try and run it out. And Gibb will just throw Counts over. Second his last time up. And he goes, swings and misses. Looks like a slider might have gotten him. This gets on the afternoon. And he's got number five. As he goes down for the second time here, back-to-back -back strikes for Jagetskis. 2-2. Two -two. And Jagetskis strikes out the side. Dembrowski. There's the one-two. Down he goes. 30 points. And he misses. Truex the inbound. Cardoso the long throw. That is it. They were the top team in the tournament. They're the top team in the conference. The Westfield State Owls are the MASCAC champions of 2020. What a game, Joe. So excited for this group of guys. They've really come together as a team. It has been five years. 2015 was the last time they won it all, and they have done it five years later. They were the number one team then. They were the number one team now, as they have won it all. And really, you could get, you, Don, you could just feel it, the energy. This team had the swagger. They had the confidence to be the champs. Yep. We will sign it off here from the Woodward Center. For cameraman Liam McCarron and for my partner Don Gainley, I am Joe Braverman. Thank you for watching all season long Westfield State men's basketball as a part of WestfieldStateOwls.com and congratulations to your 2020 MassCAC champions from Westfield State.